Hello, Quinn students and parents. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, this is Coach Kevin here with Jackson Soccer Development and Elite Futsal Charleston. We do the school program for both uh, Mount Pleasant O'Quinns and James Island O'Quinns. Uh, today we're just going to give you a little video here of things you can do during your free time at home. Um, during these, these tough times we're all going through, uh, just remember it will pass. Uh, we miss you all and we can't wait to see you soon. Okay, get out there, get in the sunshine, have some fun, grab a ball, a pair of sneakers or shoes or even cones to use. Right here I'm going to be using some dots and going over a few different things um, to make it very enjoyable for you. The first thing I'm going to do is get a warm up without the ball to make sure my legs are ready to go and then I'm focused on my, on my skill of task. Okay, um, I'm going to be using these four dots that have them set up as a square as you can see. Okay, and I'm just going to be jogging around the cones, facing forward the whole time. I might come back around this one. Doesn't matter which way I go around or where I go, but just having a bunch of different movement. Forward and back. Forward and back. Looking over my shoulder to see where I'm going. Okay, you never want to run backwards without looking because you may run into something or trip. Okay, now I'll do the same thing, but I'll pick up the pace a little bit, and I'm focusing on changing my direction as quick as I can, never coming to a stop when I go to turn. Okay, in sports movement and gross motor movement, we want to keep moving all the time, okay, with or without the ball. All right, so our next one is I'll be able to go around it, but then also turn my body away, okay, and go the way I'm facing. So here we go. Okay, so you get the hint. You can do that for 30 seconds or so. Mom, dad, big brother, uh, if you want to challenge them and time them to make it even more fun, say, okay, you got around five or six dots in 20 seconds. You got to try and get more than that, okay? So make it interesting, make it challenging, okay? Now I'm going to grab the ball and do the same thing. I'm going to start out slow and go in with just one foot around the dots using the outside of the foot, the inside, okay, maybe the sole of the foot to roll in, and make sure I go around each side at least twice or three times. Once that's complete, I'll switch to the other foot. Making sure not to step on the dot, or even let the ball go over the dot. Going all the way around. If I mess up and the ball goes away, don't get discouraged, just bring it back. Now we'll do both feet. Next, we move on to the figure eight, like a number eight, okay? We're gonna use just the top two dots. And I'm gonna make that number eight, if you can visualize this, okay, like you're drawing it with your pencil or a crown, okay? You're gonna make a line here and around, all the way up and around here, and keep going back through the middle. That's our figure eight. So we go here, around, here, Make sure you don't look straight down at the ground or you'll get dizzy. So look up at the next cone as you're turning. Look for the next cone when you turn. Here. Okay? Now we do it with the ball. Again, start with one foot and go nice and slow. You can even walk through it. Okay? Nice and easy. Until you understand what we're doing. Then you can pick up the pace a little bit and try and dribble through using all different parts of the foot. The outside, the inside, the sole to sole roll. If I mess up, we can do control 
which all of you should know. You put your foot on top of the ball, that's control. And then I keep going. And I'll switch to the other foot, my left foot, which for me is called my non-dominant foot. Every part of the foot. And then both feet. Maybe every time I come in between, now I challenge myself even more, and I soul roll the ball through. And then use one foot, soul roll through, and the other foot. Soul roll, catch it. Soul roll and catch. Soul roll and catch. Soul roll and catch. Soul roll and catch. And there you have it. Last but not least, we're gonna finish with something, okay, that we do every week, like I was talking about earlier in, in class, okay? We call it inside, inside, and then ball taps or toe, toe touches, okay? So you can mix this up on your own. You can probably maybe try and do 10 of each. So inside, inside, or TikTok would be TikTok, TikTok, or inside, inside, okay? 10, trying to keep it close. They may start out nice and slow, which is fine and then try and hop. Okay, you can look down at the ball for this one. If you get a little bit more advanced, you can try looking up a little, okay? And the last one is toe touches, okay, or ball taps, where you tap on the ball, okay? For our younger ones, maybe our threes, we do this, okay? Until they can pick it up a little bit. And the fours, maybe they try and hop and keeping one foot off the ground at all times. Okay, that's great for balance, great for their progress and getting more athletic um, and stable as they, as they grow older. So try and keep one foot off and maybe the fives we can do it without stopping. Okay, just getting touches, trying not to roll the ball too far, just little touches on the ball. Now, if they wanna compete against a brother or sibling, a mom or dad, if you wanna get involved, okay, then maybe you can have a race to see who can do five of each twice through, okay? Meaning like this. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, again, that's our short little video clip for this week, all right? Make sure in the end, all you wanna do is have fun. Make sure the kids are having fun and we can't wait to be back in school working with everyone soon. See you soon.